So, that kind of brings us to another path here. One I didn't really discuss before because of the cost. There are certain institutions which have truly awesome training, but they cost barrels of money to go with this training. I am talking about the Sands Institute. Sands is very, very expensive. The certification that work sent me for, I would not have done on my own. It costed me 5k for the basic course. $5,000 US. 8,000 in total, a little over eight actually, with the hotel, the meals, the flight for the training. But this is the best training you're gonna find. These are experts in their field. They've been doing this stuff for pretty much their entire career. They don't just do it. They understand it. They teach it. They love it. I earned my GIAC Certified Incident Handler a year ago. And GIAC is the educational side of SANS. They, do the, they administer the certifications. Um... Just one of these certifications, if you pick the right one and if you do well enough on it, can kickstart your career. But the exams are hard. You're going to be focusing on making an index because this is open book, open notes. You can take anything in there. But when you've got a stack of books this high with notes all throughout, you better know how to find what you need. And you need, need to do it fast. You got four hours. I forget how many questions are on it, but there are a lot. And these questions could be anything. Technical, managerial. Um, they could span the gamut based on the cert you're taking. If you want to be a security operation analyst, or if you want to go the route of working incidents of beating back hackers your first certification here if you have a base in a plus network plus security plus is going to be gcih gx certified incident handler so that it's just another path i wouldn't be doing my job if i didn't mention it but it's a lot of money if you can afford it totally worth it but there is a last path though, or another path. <laughs> we have one more after this. Military. If you're gonna go to the military, if you're young enough or fit enough to do that, I am not. <laughs> Choose the Air Force or the Navy. I work with plenty of people in my security operations center who are previous Air Force or Navy. And if you decide to go that route, you're going to want to choose an MOS, uh, Military Occupation Specialty. They're called different things in different branches. I just mainly know the Army ones. And Cybersecurity or Network Operations. That's going to get you so much education, so much exposure. And study, study, study. The military has so many resources for training. All the ones I mentioned before, the degrees, the certs, even SANS. Those resources are out there. Do it. Study it. If you're in the military and you're not taking advantage of that, you're missing out. So, let's just kind of look. One last thing, guys. Our last path. Self-learning. There's a lot to be said about the person who can teach themselves to fish. If you're good at learning on your own, you're good at studying on your own pace, and... You can grasp things just by reading the books and getting your hands dirty in the labs. Do it. There's nothing stopping you. A lot of these books you can find online for cheap. Uh, Amazon is awesome. <laughs> Don't use brain dumps. Don't use exam dumps. 
they help you pass the exam, but nothing else. You're not going to understand the content, really. Uh, focus on your fundamentals first again, guys. This The A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, you're going to find that everywhere. It is your fundamental IT skills. Um, Linux+, plus, you should probably learn Linux. When I say should probably, you need to learn Linux. You need to learn a little programming. Why not just formalize that with Linux+. Plus? A lot of people can say, oh, I know Linux. Okay, here's this command. Here's this task. I want you to do this. Here are all the constraints. Well, how would you do that on a Red Hat system versus an Ubuntu? I don't know. You don't really know Linux then. You know one flavor of Linux, or you know one thing about Linux, or you've touched a Linux command prompt. Um, as I said, programming. Everyone should know scripting. Python's going to be your best friend here, especially if you're self-studying. You could throw a stone and hit 15 different Python courses. Um, CEH. Again, HR loves this certification. I don't know why. I guess they hear certified ethical hacker and it just they just salivate. But HR loves it. If you can afford it, do it. Uh, look at your advanced certifications when you're ready. Your CASP, your CISSP, your CYSA. Go for those certifications. And if you can, look to a SAN certification. Like I said, just one of those things can kickstart your career. So that's kind of in a nutshell the different paths for going in IT security. Um, the, these are by no means the be all end all. I'm just presenting you some of them. I'm presenting you the common ones I see throughout the business I work at, um, throughout other businesses that I saw throughout my degrees. Um, in fact, during my master's degree, I was working with people actively working in the field. One of the requirements for our instructors was you had to be active in the field. These were part-time instructors working full-time in the field. The only instructor who didn't have that was our dean, who retired from the field a few years previously, but worked in IT security for 30 years. So if you have any questions, any comments, um, any feedback, feel free to post them down below. Um, where's my finger? Ooh, yeah, look at the finger. Um, down below. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys next time.